um, patient, what we're going to do now is, uh, I know you're not in weight bearing on that right side, um, so you're seated in your wheelchair right now. I've already demonstrated for you what we're going to do, but we need to use the walker going up and down the stairs. You told me that your rail is on the left as you go upstairs at home, so this is the rail that we're going to use. Okay, and I'll kind of talk you through it again, just like I demonstrated for you recently. Okay, so I'm going to get the patient up. She's in standing position. Um, go ahead and put your, oops, sorry. Go ahead and put your hands on that walker. And we're going to walk over toward that side. So we're non weight bearing on this leg now. So hold her right up off the ground. So I'm using my hover hand to stop her there, okay? So keep that one right up off the ground and step forward with your left foot. Yep, just go right forward. There you go. Now what you're going to do is you're going to use your left hand on the rail and grab that. This hand is going to bring the, the walker around. Okay, just run to the side. And then take this one and lift it up so that it's on the stand. Right? That's the position you're going to use. See how nice and sturdy that is when you put weight onto it? Okay, she is non-weight bearing on the right, so I need to stay toward this side. I will tell you right now, this is not easy to do, trying to get out of the way of this walker and stay kind of off to the side, but that's where you need to be, okay? So go ahead and take a little step closer to the stair first, okay? And then we can move this up a little closer. Okay. All right, and then you're gonna go ahead and use your arms and uh, get yourself up so your left foot is on the stair. Okay, okay, and then bring the walker up. Now I can get out of the way while she moves the walker, but once she has it set, then I wanna be up close again. Okay, go ahead and step up. <laughs> Okay. Okay, and step. Alright. Now use this hand to bring that walker right in front of you. Bring it up, lift it right up. Okay. And again, this is her weak side, so we're gonna go in a big circle around that way so that she can turn toward her strong side. So go ahead and put both hands. The weight needs to go at the same time onto the walker. So let's be a big circle there. You're staying behind. Now notice if I did this the wrong way and I were behind her like this, all sorts of bad things could happen. Okay? So I just worked my way around her to go. Alright, we're going to use this rail. This is your bad side. So I'm going to be toward the involved side. Go ahead and step a little closer first. Okay? And hang on to the rail while you use that hand to turn the walker. And put it right down like this. Once it's at that angled position, then you can put weight on that walker. Remember, you can't put weight on it if it's all four on the same level. Okay, let's step a little bit closer here. Okay, right here, and go ahead and step down. Good, and bring the walker down. And this is where we want to make sure that those legs are right up against the right. Okay, some walkers are going to be bigger than others. Um, we have one that doesn't fold. That, I mean, those the legs of it are basically right on the edge there. If it is on the edge, what I usually do is almost like a knee block of the walker. Okay? Um, if it's problematic for the patient, they may need to get a different size walker so that they're safe on the stairs. Okay, um, you're already down, so bring your foot down now. Good job. Switch my hands over. <laughs> okay, one more. Mm -hmm. Step down. Beautiful. And then she would bring the walker in front of her. Don't put any weight on it until she has both hands. Once she got here, we're going to go past those behind. 